Hey, it's Sierra Janelle with Beyond Beauty. And today we are going to be talking about how to keep your personal and your business assets separate, how to keep those financials separate, how to keep those expenses separate. Um, so let's hop right into it. So the number one tip is going to be getting a separate checking and savings account for your business. Um, this is fairly easy to obtain um, here in the state of Michigan. I just sent in my articles of organization as well as, you know, my ID, my address, and it was fairly simple to open up a business checking account. Me personally, I like credit unions. They tend to be more lenient on fees as well as the monthly maintenance um, fees that normally are incurred um, for business accounts. So that is very, very, very important and probably the number one thing that you should start right off the bat. And another thing with credit unions, um, when you're scaling your business, um, sometimes credit unions have looser guidelines when it comes to giving money to small businesses once you get to that point. So rather than going to a big bank that may require thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every month coming in in revenue, credit unions are a little bit lenient because they own their establishment and can set their own guidelines. So normally those guidelines tend to be a little more lenient. That's kind of why I like credit unions, but um, anywhere is fine. Nowadays you can do it right on your smartphone. Um, a lot of apps allow you to get a business checking account and that is crucial. The number two tip is going to be keeping a record and receipts of all of the transactions that you do for your business. Not only for tax purposes, because you can write a lot of the things that you purchase already off, um, but just to keep so you can visually see what is coming in, what is coming out um, each month. So that is a very crucial, important tip. Number three is going to be to set your own salary whether this is weekly, monthly, um, however you want to set it up, make sure that you set yourself a salary and stick to it. Um, you may want to speak to an accountant to see if you want to W-2 yourself. That way, when it comes to tax time, um, you can report that as income um, in addition to your nine to five job. Now, for some people, you might not wanna do that. Other people, it may be a benefit to you. You wanna speak with an accountant to see what is the best way to go about that. But um, even if you don't decide to W2 yourself, you still want to keep a track of how much money is com coming to you. But first things first, before you get yourself any money, you have to make sure that there is enough money to have the business sustained by itself. And if you take in $300 every week out of your business, your business may not be able to function um, with those expenses coming to you. So pick, make sure when you pick your salary, um, you want to put your business first and always invest in back into your business. And then whatever is remaining, you want to keep for capital and, and inventory, and then the rest can go to you. So set that number according to what your business can tolerate. And number four, like I said, is going to be to talk to a professional. There are a lot of free resources um, that kind of give you these breakdowns of what um, you should be doing when it comes to managing your money. Um, not only personally, but for your business as, as well. And especially if you are the main person funding your business, like I was for like the first year or so, um, funding it out of my own pocket. Uh, you definitely want to speak to a professional on what is the best way to do that. Because like I mentioned before, there are tax things that you can write off and maybe a benefit to you. Um, so you definitely want to speak to an accountant to see what it's the best way to set up um, these things. So if you enjoyed this video, please, 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 
please, please share. And also comment what other things that you would like um, me to discuss. I have been in business for about three-ish years now. Um, I have made some mistakes along the way. So I definitely want to help you guys in any questions that you may have. So once again, thank you again and have a great day.